Hi, my name is Eleanor Marcon. I'm the Head of Senior School at Perth Classical and Contemporary Coaching in Perth, Australia. I'm also a former student of Rory Walter Mann, as well as a former student and dancer with the La Scala Ballet School in Milan and the Hamburg Ballet in Germany. So as the Head of Senior School, I specialise in coaching full-time dancers who are in the pre-professional stage of their training. My goal is to prepare these young dancers as best I can for admission to the world's leading pre-professional schools. In the last 12 months, my students have gained full-time placements to the Royal Ballet Upper School, the Princess Grace Academy in Monaco, the John Cranko Schule, the San Francisco Ballet School, the English National Ballet School and Trainee Programme, the European School of Ballet, the Australian Ballet School, and the Palooka University of Dance in Dresden. I find that it is no longer simply enough to just take class or simply condition and strengthen certain areas of the body. What I find is increasingly needed is a system which helps young dancers bridge the gap between the two. Exercises which condition the correct muscles that they need while executing movements which are rooted in the classical framework. This is why I find the Progressing Ballet Technique program to be such an indispensable tool for the training of our dancers. A really common comment that we get from our dancers is that while they may be able to feel or activate certain muscles when we give them simple conditioning exercises, they often struggle to activate or switch on those muscles or muscle groups when they then come into their ballet classes. This gap between conditioning and ballet class is something that I've noticed for a really long time and I've always wondered how to close it uh, and how to more closely tie these two aspects of their training days. A student, for example, could condition their abs or their obliques or their core as much as they like and often end up getting quite strong in those areas. But unless they can engage and activate and switch on those muscle groups when they come into their ballet class and engage them in the correct way, then this strength that they have gained from repetitious conditioning is in the end, unfortunately, of little use to them in their dancing. When we discovered the PBT system, it really felt like a relief because we finally found a system which successfully connects conditioning to ballet class and bridges that gap that we were observing. When I first started writing the full-time training program for our school some time ago, I actually included a class called a bridging class in which I suppose my aim was to constantly move students between the floor and the bar or the floor and the center, really trying to get to the bottom of what was going wrong in their ability to connect muscle activation between the two. These classes, to be honest, had mixed results and eventually we did away with them all together. Um, we weren't getting the results that we wanted and uh, we weren't finding ways that were successful enough to get through to these students. So when we discovered PBT, it was so great because suddenly we had this well thought out, sophisticated program that was also clear and simple for the students to follow and that immediately filled this gap that we had between conditioning and ballet. So now, we have bridging classes that have been reinstated and revived and they are now called progressing ballet technique classes. In this video we have Zane Smith-Taylor who is one of our talented full-time students who will be leaving us soon to accept his full scholarship to the Princess Grace Academy in Monaco. Zane is a flexible and tall dancer, he's about six foot one, so core control is something that he really struggles with. 
So this boy circuit training exercise that he is going to demonstrate is one that he really likes and he finds particularly useful for his grand pirouettes as the oblique twisting action that is included in the exercise really helps him to feel a connection between his upper and lower bodies so that when he's turning he can turn as one piece. We were previously finding that he wasn't able to make this connection in the centre of his body and therefore he, the two parts of his body were on different trajectories as he was turning, ultimately compromising his turn. It is something that he's continuing to work on, but since working with these PBT exercises, we've noticed a dramatic improvement in this area.